All right, it's Mustang vlog time. It's the beginning of June, 2019. Here's the engine Larry's been working on. He's really busy at work right now. He'll get back on it when he can, but all we have to do is put the dump roller timing chain on. After that, we can go ahead and button it up. Then I'll paint it black and it'll be all set. It's got the heads done, it's got the intake done. A lot better looking than it was when we got it. Here's the C4 Trans that came out of the 69 Mustang donor car. And I got it all cleaned up today. Combination of the Pressure Joe pressure washer, gift from Dave Ellsworth. I opened it up today and used it for the first time. Thank you, Dave. Um, also, Simple Green. And for the final bake on crap, I used Easy Off Oven Cleaner. Okay, there's some stuff in here that's different. Seats are done and installed. And that's a big deal. So is the console. And we're pretty happy about that. I got a stereo in here I haven't shown you yet. Let me go ahead and get in the car and show you how it works. So as you can see, it looks like a regular radio. I mean, I could have got the one that says Ford on it and looks exactly like what comes in the 65 and 66s. But I went ahead and went this route. I found a good deal on it. I'm gonna turn the key to the auxiliary position and it's going to wake up here in just a second you'll see display on here and what it does is it grabs the audio from my phone so whether i'm listening to sirius xm or i'm listening to mp3s or whatever it just grabs it just like that and it even says yacht rock radio Daryl hall john oates or a smile but i can make it do whatever i want it goes through like all these different colors as far as what color I want it to be but I think once I get going down the road I'll probably turn the display off and just use the volume and enjoy but yeah it's pretty cool and it's hands-free phones so I won't have to worry about that anymore it's gonna work out real nice so you can see that package tray back there my daughter and I put together I didn't want the speakers sticking out of the top dad would have just flipped so we made it so you can't see them which I think is the best look now over here I got a brand new bezel, which I had before, but I went ahead and I put a new cluster lens in it. The thing that was bugging me about putting a, whoops, I was putting a cluster lens in it was that the, everything that I found said oil and alternator, but the cluster that was in here, this was actually a lit up generator. I found a new lens that lit up generator. I thought that was kind of a cool feature for this car. I don't know if it was something where they ran out of stuff at the end of 65 when they were building this car and they just threw an old cluster in from a 64 and a half that had the generator, but I thought it was an interesting feature. I wanted to keep it, but it was so cloudy. And these little guys here were yellowed and they're part of the lens itself. So I went ahead and replaced the lens and I'm happy that I did. So we got all the thresholds in, the kick panels over here. You can see we've got the console put in. My daughter and I put that in just the other day. I had to find a different shifter for this because it had a shifter in it from, I think, Probably a mid-70s Mustang, like a Mustang II. So we found the proper shifter, shifter plate, all that, and got it put in. Also, put a new heater control system in here. And the reason we did that was because the old one was a little crummy. Dad had a nice spare one, so we cleaned it up and put it in. There's also, I don't know if you can see it or not, there's a brand new heater box under here. Plim, everything. It's all brand new. Got that all built and installed. Yeah, we're pretty happy with it. Here, check this out. This is really cute. The indicator for what gear you're in is actually illuminated with a light. I didn't know that. I thought that was really cool. We also got these interior quarters installed along with the felt. Now, I had to take these all the way down to bare metal, prime them with some self-etching primer, and I hit them with, I don't know, some kind of urethane paint that Napa recommended, and it worked out pretty good. Brand new wind lace. Windows are completely rebuilt. They roll up and down really nice. Now these were absolutely impossible last summer, but now like butter. I've rebuilt the tracks, put new bushings in there and everything. They go up and down really nice. I'll be doing the same thing to the doors when I rebuild the doors. I gotta take them all the way down to bare metal, prime them, I'm gonna put new door cards in, gotta put pony door handles in, but I'm gonna put regular door cards in for a standard interior. But I'll be doing the rails and the bushings and grease it up and all that. And it should work just as well. So that's all I have for today. Hopefully next time we'll show you some motor stuff. Larry's just really busy at work. 
But that's kind of the next step. That and we got to do the back seat yet. But otherwise, we're pretty much there uh, until it's time to run. Everything else can be done whenever. So to all seven of you, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.